So if you want to grow your real estate photography business to where you're doing two, three, even four listings every day, but not getting burned out, you're going to need to learn some things. You're going to need to know how to make the natural light work for you so you can get your shots done quicker on site and then make them a fast blend in the editing room. I'm going to show you two examples of that today where we are taking the ambient natural daylight, the natural sunlight coming in and using that as one of our if not the only main light source, was just using the flash layer to tone down the window exposure. So let's get into Lightroom right now and I'll show you how I do this. All right, so here's our first shot. And now, again, it's every situation is going to vary, but typically what you want to do is to use the natural light coming in. Now, I do have one light on over here, but again, look, we have yellow walls. I was like, whatever, it doesn't even matter to me. Uh, this isn't casting any color. If this was in a situation where I we had white walls or other colored walls that this was going to be an issue, I would have just shut it off. But seeing as how almost, the daylight is almost overpowering this light, it was so... Um, minuscule, such a minor thing that I just that didn't bother me, so I left it on. But look at how much natural light we have coming in. I'm going to reset this so you can see what it looked like straight out of camera. And I actually probably could have um, been a little bit more overexposed, you know, even something like this. But I'm going to do my initial bump here, which is my 9 to 18. That's giving me a neutral profile, something I've just started doing. It kind of flattens it out a little bit more than uh, maybe like a standard or Adobe Color. So I like neutral. Where I actually find that is you have to come down here to Browse, and it's right here. So and just choose that if you so choose. It's you know personal preference. Sometimes I like the uh, Adobe Standard, uh, but we're going to try it for this case. And I'm going to copy these settings here, and we're just going to use our... This is the flash shot. I'll reset it so you can see. You know, it wasn't it wasn't super evenly lit. So all I did was reach up over the camera with my AD600. It probably I would say quarter power, half power maybe, and just did a flash pop above the camera. And because you, you can tell the ceiling's a little hot spot right here. But that's what that looks like. That's what that gave us. So, we were just going to bring these two images into Photoshop and I'm going to show you how well these blend. Okay, once your images have been loaded into Photoshop, I'm going to show you how fast this can be if you have enough natural light coming in, which we do in this situation. So we have the ambient layer on top, we have the flash layer on the bottom. Let's just take and drop that opacity of that ambient layer to 50%. Now, normally this would work. Unfortunately, in this situation it does not. But what we can do is let's do this let's reverse these let's make sure that the flash layer is on top ambient layer is on the bottom if you have enough ambient light to uh, pretty much fill the scene which I think we do in this situation let's just do a layer mask command I to invert and now we have the ambient layer with that layer mask and now we can take our brush tool and brush that window view back in and now my flow is at 58%. Normally I like to do like 5%. But it's still feathering out pretty good. We can tone down some of that glare coming in. Um, paint back in the flash on that TV so it's not so harsh. Anywhere else you need flash. See around that TV was... We have some natural shadows that needed to be shown because we have light coming in, and so there would be flat or shadows right there behind that. And so, if we can just paint some of that TV out so it's not so distracting, like that. And that looks really good to me. Let's flatten this image. All right, so let's uh, Command S to save it. Let's bring it right back into Lightroom. And yes, we do have some color cast. We're gonna fix those into your final bump that's what I'm gonna do bring my exposure back down now we can close this out let's come down here to our hue saturation luminance sliders make sure saturation selected click on this little guy right here we're gonna bring it up to the ceiling and see that yellow and orange let's pull those out although it's pulling it out of the ceiling so what we can do is create a layer mask in let's do this let's do just a Let's do a brush and let's do 
saturation. We'll take the saturation down and see if we can brush out some of that color cast just by painting that out. Make our brush a little bigger so it feathers better. And the nice thing about Lightroom is if we don't like that, see, we can adjust it after the fact too. As long as our brush is covering that spot wherever we need that. But there we go. All right, let's move on to a bedroom photo. And I'm going to show you how we can make natural light work for us in this situation too. Okay, here we go. Here is a ton of natural light. Let's close this out. Let's reset it so you can see what it looked like. Nicely exposed. Let's do our initial 9 to 18 bump here. Bring that exposure up just a little bit more. Look at how much light we have coming in. So again, what I'm thinking is we're going to be able to do our window pull only or our window exposure. And that's where we're going to use our flash shot right here. Let's do our 9 to 18 bump on that and see how that did. That toned it down. That's all we're going to need. I like the lamp there. We might be able to use that as far as maybe toning out some of that color cast. We'll find out. But let's select both of these and edit in open as layers in Photoshop. All right, let's just try the 50% blend on this one. And I actually like the way that looks. Let's change this to luminosity mode. That actually helped. That actually worked better than that other living room shot that we did. So, you know what? I actually would keep this because the window has curtains and it has blinds, so they're not blown out anymore. We're good. We don't have any crazy color cast on the ceiling anymore. Let's just select this, flatten this image, Command S to save it. And again, you can see the, the system. We're just going into a my interior final bump. That's also going to speed up your workflow. But there you go. Making sure that you can use that natural light to your advantage. It's going to speed up your workflow in the post-processing side of uh, the business. So leave me a comment if you have any questions. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have tutorials coming out all the time. Thanks for watching.